So the, the person for the people to the bridge there already? Yeah. The bus? Listen, everything is going to be explained to you. I know, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not okay, sure that they're ready. Pleasant good morning to all those within the sound of my voice. Uh, pleasant good morning, pleasant good morning. And this morning we are here to pay our last respect to our brother whom God have called from works to reward. And at this time as we are about to begin, we are going to begin with the tributes. We are going to begin with the tributes. And our first tribute would be um, from teacher Agnes Trotman. Teacher Agnes Trotman. Okay. Um, and should I say before we begin, myself, Bishop Ian, and Reverend Preston Andrew would be the officiating ministers for today. So, okay, we'll go to the second tribute, teacher Lara. Teacher Lara with her tribute. Oh, peace, my mother, from God, our Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ. Let me say to Mother Drake's and her family our condolences from Plum Line in Queens, New York, and the Secretary for Youth and Culture of the Spiritual Baptist Faith, Inc. Let me encourage you, according to the Book of Revelation, that said, that I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. For men's forty years said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor, and their works do follow them. Let me encourage you, Mother Drakes, to be strong in the Lord and in the power of God's might. Let me encourage you by letting you know that your husband just transitioned from one plane to the other so that he will continue his work on the other side. So, so let me say as Charles Wesley, what peaceful hours I once enjoy, how sweet the memories tell, but they had left an aching void the world can never fill. Let me encourage you to hold the fort for I am coming because victory is nigh. Just believe that your husband just fall asleep to wake again in heaven. So be strong, be courageous. So the writer says, courage brother, do not stumble. Though your part be dark as night, there is a star to guide the humble. Trust in God and do the right. And let me emphasize again what Benjamin Franklin said, that there's only two things that man cannot evade, and it is taxes and death. Let me say to you, we can put off every other engagement. We can put off every other assignment and appointment, but the only appointment we cannot put off for another day and another time, it is death. Death is inevitable. So let me say to you, according to the, the book of Hebrew, once to die and after that is judgment. May I say to you, weep, but not too bitterly over the happy dead. God bless you and God keep you. Stay prayed up. I will continue to pray for you. We at Plum Line will continue to lift you up in prayer. And the members of the Spiritual Baptist Executive will also continue to pray for you. God bless you. 
God keep you. Stay strong. Blessings. Thank you very much, Teacher Lara. And uh, may I urge that um, because of the present situation in the country, we are limited for time. So we're asking you to please use this question in giving your tribute. We now turn to Dion Drix. Dion Drix. Dad, when you're a man of few words, it's your actions that show the type of person you are. And although we didn't have a lot of conversations, what you did show me from the times when you shared some of your life experience with me was to enjoy the time spent with family. A few of those occasions that come to mind are when we used to watch wrestling events like WrestleMania and we'd get all excited by the action and the drama taking place on the TV screen. Or when the Olympics rolled around and we'd watch the track events and jump up cheering in excitement whenever a Caribbean or Canadian athlete or team would blow the field away. Growing up, I saw you fixing things by thinking through the issues and using your hands to complete projects. You also showed me, without knowing, how important it is to help solve problems for others when you're able to. That's not what I help others to do professionally. Then there was a time when I was going through some new emotions, and when you recognized it, you said to me that things will get better. All you have to do is give it some time. And I didn't quite understand it right then, but now I feel like that little gem of life experience is very appropriate to the current state of things, both on a personal level as well as globally. I wish we could have had the opportunity for more conversations, but the few that come to mind, I'm grateful for having. I'm also very thankful to have had you in my life and I'll miss being able to create more memories and meaningful conversations with you. So until our energies meet again, be free and at peace. You'll always be in my heart and my memories. I love you. Thank you, thank you very much, Dion. We now have a tribute by Mikila Augustin. Mikila Augustin. Oh gosh, where do I start? Uncle Tony. I mean, I remember the first time meeting Uncle Tony and I met him a lot later in my adult life. Um, and he came to England with my auntie Yvonne. And I used to think to myself, he's a peculiar man, isn't he? And it was all about the way that he kind of he walked around, kind of hands behind his back, and he would always whistle. So even if you didn't know where he was, you knew where he was because you'd have a little bit of a whistle going on. And his laugh, so infectious. And you couldn't help but laugh when he laughed. And he just, he just made you feel good all the time. Even when you felt rubbish, he made you feel good. And him and my dad, they were like two peas in a pod. Anybody that would meet them would have thought that they were childhood friends because they just got on like a house on fire. And they just had such good banter. And see my dad when Uncle Tony was around, you could see the joy in his in his eyes, and you could just see that they had so much fun together and they enjoyed being together. And it was always such a pleasure to see them both together. Really heartwarming. And then obviously, I remember the first time I went down to Grenada and we all stayed at the house. And that's when I got a taste of the famous Uncle Tony fish cakes. 
And I was there for two weeks. And I pretty much ate fish cakes every single morning because Uncle Tony would ask me what I wanted. And I said, fish cakes, that was it. I didn't care what else I was going to eat with the fish cakes. But as long as I had fish cakes, I was happy. And then obviously there was a papaya tree out in the garden. So fish cakes and papaya, that was kind of my go-to. And then I didn't see Uncle Tony for a while. And then the next time I seen Uncle Tony, he came back to England and that was for my dad's funeral. And I remember how I felt and how devastated I was. But I remember looking at his face and he just looked so lost, like he just lost his best friend in the whole entire world. And I can probably say they were, they were best friends because they hung out. And when they hung out, they hung out. And I remember just looking at him thinking, man, what's he gonna do? They're lost without each other. And then not long after that, that's when I found out that Uncle Tony had the dementia. And that was hard. That was definitely hard. I remember just being in Grenada a few years ago and seeing Uncle Tony and just thinking to myself, he's such a shell of the man that I remembered. But even with the dementia, he was still a funny little character. I mean, <laughs> he, spent, <laughs> he spent so much of his time hiding stuff around the house. And I remember one day me and Auntie Yvonne were looking for the car keys and we couldn't find them anywhere. And then we found the hiding spot. And the stuff we found in that hiding spot. <laughs> and I remember the amount of time we'd have to be walking around the house looking for him, find out where he's gone. Even in, in that state, he still was a funny character, still fun. But I know it's hard because he's no longer here. But the only peace that I get knowing that is knowing that he's now with my dad and that they have got each other and neither one of them are alone anymore. So for me, it's sad. But they've got each other and that will bring me peace. Thank you, thank you, Michaela. So at this time we now invite Archbishop Brinsley Dixon to receive it. Archbishop Brinsley Dixon. We gathered a joyful day. The hymn truly says, through all the changing scenes of life, in trouble and in joy, the praises of my God shall still my heart and tongue employ. And even through the changes, we still must sing the praises of God. Saddened as I am because of various reasons, I am still grateful and thankful to God to have had the privilege of meeting our deceased brother. Later, he became my spiritual son which was a great privilege and a joy for him as we became father and son when I baptized him. Our level of friendship grew and the confidentiality that he found the favor in the sight of God through me to take what we call a throat of grace, whereby I took him to the higher level and realm of becoming a high priest. Saints, a high priest he certainly was. One who lived and displayed godly principles and did put them into action. A high priest in the true sense of a high priest, who was a priest to all who came in contact with him. I have fond memories of him and know without a shadow of a doubt he's resting safe in the arms of his father god my son 
Anthony Drakes. Sleep in peace. Rest in peace. My son, Anthony Drakes, our high priest, the power of God command you. The word of Christ command you. The angels, messengers command you. My voice and authority compel you. The blood of Christ command you. Anthony Drake's high praise of God, you must rest in peace. Sleep in peace. Be at peace. Answer no one. You must not return until the second of the second of the blast of the trumpet of Christ by the angels. High priest Anthony Drakes, go forth on your journey into life everlasting. Spirit of the name of Jehovah Elohim who created thee. In the name of the Holy Ghost who conforms thee and sanctifies thee. In the company of the angels and angels of heavenly hosts who will guard thee. The Lord God has given and by his mysterious power, he has taken you unto himself. Farewell. God bless until we meet again. Now the strife is o'er. You have won the battle. Step into eternal victory with Christ. God bless you all. Thank you, as Bishop Brinsley. We now turn to Abbess Dr. Agatha Carrington, who is the Secretary General of the Spiritual Baptist Faith Inc. Thank you, Presiding Minister, Apostolic Patriarch, Dr. Norris V. Ashton, Archbishops, Bishops, other members of the clergy. Deputy Secretary General for the uh, North American region, Bishop Maurice Raymond, Deputy Secretary General for the Caribbean, Elect Lady Hilary Ned, other members of the Central Executive of the Spiritual Baptist Faith Incorporated, the Bereaved Family. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. Such is the work of Jehovah God. On this journey of life, we encounter many milestones. Our final milestone is death or departure from life. For us in the Spiritual Baptist Faith Incorporated, of which I'm the Secretary General, we join in the celebration of a life well lived. Our minister, Drakes, was a servant leader. He understood the importance and value of servanthood as being central to what his life's work is. Brethren, his life is a lesson to all of us to live our lives being of service to mankind. Your service to God is exemplified in your actions to your family, your church, your work, your community. Our brother lived a life of fulfillment. Ephesians 2.10 reminds us that we are God's workmanship, created to do God's work, which God prepared in advance for us to do. This personifies the man of God, Minister Drakes. He was set aside for a unique purpose. To all of us, my question is, what is my purpose? What is your purpose? What has God called you to do? What has God called me to do? Am I where he wants me to be? Are you where he wants you to be? Question is to be answered. Brethren, as our brother worked diligently to please God with a life of love and service, we too are called to live such a life. To our Bishop Yvonne Drakes, our Secretary for International Relations, 
in the Central Executive of the Spiritual Baptist Faith, Incorporated. We thank you for your service as well, as we thank your family for allowing you the opportunity to be of service. Finally, brethren, let us continue to serve God from the depths of our hearts, using what talents God has given us, all to the honor and glory of his name. Praise him. I thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Carrington. We now have a tribute by Apostolic Patriarch, Dr. Norris V. Ashton. I am the resurrection and the life, said the Lord. He that believeth in me, though you are dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and he shall stand at the last on the, the earth. And after my skin is destroyed, this I know, that in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not another. Greetings to the bereaved family of our beloved High Priest, Reverend Anthony Drake, to his beloved wife, Bishop Mother Yvonne Drake, I send my heartfelt love and sincere support to you on this day. One day, during a period of great sorrow in his life a long time ago, Charles Wesley declared through all the changing scenes of life, in trouble and in joy, the praises of my God shall still my heart and tongue employ. Who oh, magnify the Lord with me, with me exalt his name. When in distress to him I call, he to my rescue came. My brothers and sisters in Christ, today we understand that in this life we are always in the midst of death. We know not the time, nor the hour, nor the day, or when, or how death will come. But we understand that it must come. We also understand that if we labor faithfully for our Lord Jesus Christ, our reward will be great in heaven. Today, Reverend Anthony Drake had endured, he had fought the fight, and he is now ready to receive his just reward. Today, we gathered here to lay down our brother, uncle, father, and husband. We all understand the struggles that Reverend Drake endured over the last several years. But one thing is clear. He was a man that was blessed and is in his blessing. He also blessed the hearts of many and touched many more with his words of advice and with loving nature. Let us remember the life and the greatness of the legacy that he leaves behind in his carnal and spiritual family. In all my interaction with Reverend Anthony Drake, I found him to be a man greatly admired and wholly devoted to both his family and to the church. Today we know that there is a crown of gl glory laid up for him. He has endured a good fight. He has run the race. 
and he has kept the faith. Most of all, let us continue to recall and reflect upon the beautiful memories that he had laid before us. Let us also remember that most of all, he is feeling no more pain and no more suffering. Today he is gazing down and saying to every one of us here, it is well with my soul. To my daughter, Bishop Mother Yvonne Trix, hold fast to the comfort that all is well with him. My prayer for you is to remember that you are now have another angel looking out for you. Time is in the hands of our master. He will comfort and console you during these days and all others to come. We must remember it is not the day that we die or the day that we were born. But what is most important is how we live our life while we were here on earth. Reverend Tony Drake had done it all while he was here with us. He had been a provider, a mentor, a good friend, and a loving father to many of us assembled here today. And this is the notion that we have come together today to remember him and to honor him for the life that he lived. On behalf of the members of Mount Moriah Spiritual Church, I send the love of the entire membership and our continued support as a son of this oil and as a true faithful soldier of the spiritual Baptist faith. He was one who has helped to push the growth of this faith forward. He had also been a strong and loyal supporter to his wife. In this journey of righteousness for your faithful labor, I pray that you will be received into the loving arms of the Almighty God. I further pray on that great and getting up morning that you will hear the trumpet of the Lord that shall sound and you will be numbered among those whom the Christ, whom in Christ shall rise. Reverend Anthony Drake, may the perpetual light shine upon you always and may your soul rest in peace. Thank you. Apostolic Patriarch, Dr. Norris V. Ashton. At this time, I would like to recognize we have a number of persons online through the, through the world, I would say. So I would like to welcome you. And of course, welcome you to Grenada via social media. You all are welcome. <laughs> so at this time, we're now going to have the eulogy by Neil and Adrian.
Blessings. I want to say thank you uh, for all the people that are here, for all the people that are online, uh, for the ones that couldn't make it. Um, thank you. It's been a long, a long journey uh, that uh, our dad has gone through. But right now, he is where he's supposed to be in the hands of our father, our maker. So this is not a goodbye in a sense. This is just, I will see you later. Because in my heart, in my memories, and for everyone that uh, has sent their condolences, he will never be forgotten. Now I do have some words that I do want to say, because um, I could stand up here all day and talk about my dad. There's just so much, but I just want to keep it uh, simple and let everybody else uh, get their peace and get their words in. Okay? relations to my dad. <sighs> what is a father? What is a dad? A dad is someone you can look up to, someone to follow, someone to admire, someone to be proud and someone to brag about. Someone to hold and sometimes someone to cry with. Someone to learn from and respect. Someone to listen and to talk to and to try and impress. But most of all, with whom to share everything this wonderful life and this wonderful world has to offer. To me, that's a father and that's a dad. And that's my dad. I am so incredibly grateful and happy that I can stand here today and tell you that I have all this and much more with my dad. A lot of you know him as Reverend, a lot of you know him as Anthony, but he's my dad. To say I love my dad would be an understatement, and to say I'm going to miss him, well, yeah, it's greatly understatement. Dad was always there for everyone, for the family, the neighbors, the friends. He was work, he was hard working. He worked very hard. The one thing that everybody has said is the compassionate side that he had towards everybody. And that he would do anything for anyone whether they asked for it or not, he was always there to help. Now I can go into the disease that took my father, but you know what? I'm not gonna go down there because that's not what this is all about. However, what is not said is that there are a lot of hidden underlying precious gifts that are revealed to the loved ones on the sidelines that witness and experience what this is, this disease has done. And it opened our eyes to appreciate all the things that our dad has done. I am very lucky and a fortunate son to see you genuine, real character, knowing that deep within my, your mind, even when it was colored within its tangled web, emerged your memories of love, devotion, and compassion.
I will always treasure those. How many sons can truly understand the depth of love and bonding between their mother and their father? I am one that witnessed the underlying love and commitment a man has for his wife, my mom, and his family. For 50 years, they've shared everything life can offer them together. And everybody knows they were a team, a strong team together, no matter what. So now, it's my turn to turn the tables of nature's course to nurture as he would his own children that I will do with mine. I can, humble, I can be as humble as I can to be strong for my mom today and also let her know that in the past couple weeks, the strength that she's shown to endure, and even before what she was going through, when my dad was going through his, his trials, there were many times that she would call me and she would say, she can't do it anymore. I would always say, hang in there. It's going to get better. This is the better. This is what she needs. This is the strength she needs right now. My brother and I are here, and we're going to be by my mom's side, supporting her, giving her all the strength and support that she needs. I just want to say thank you guys again. I just want to offer just a prayer that our Almighty, our Almighty Father has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Um, I'm uh, going to keep this uh, short. Um, we've all heard the stories about my dad making fish cakes um, you probably haven't heard the stories of my dad and I drinking cognac and not and him telling me not to tell my mom <laughs> all the time <laughs> um, one thing I knew about my dad is we were very similar uh, when I we were when I was young we didn't get along but as I got older, I, I recognized that me and him were two peas in the pod. Um, the story I want to tell to you is one of my dad's first interactions with my daughter, his granddaughter. Um, he came to visit us out in Canada. We, we live on the West Coast. And I think we just finished eating and I, uh, 
I was about to comb Guy's hair. And I ran upstairs to grab some product for her, her hair. I come back down, and my dad was already combing out her hair, brushing it out. And, you know, <laughs> I, I kind of went, I went to my daughter and, you know, I was about to say, you know, are you okay? My daughter just put out her hand and said, Dad, <laughs> you know, it's okay. My dad always knew what to do, e even in times where everyone else was lost. I've lost my father, but I probably lost my best friend, too, as well. I'm happy he's finally out of pain. And I know we'll see each other again. I love you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Neil and uh, Adrian. Thank you. At this time, as you're about to go in the official service, celebrating the life of our dear brother, Reverend Preston will lead us in the hymn, The Lord's My Shepherd, the first hymn on the hymn sheet. At this time, we want to do a final viewing. You may do so while hymn is sung, because we do not have my shepherd I not want he makes me down to lie in pastures green he leadeth me the quiet waters by my soul he doth restore again and me to walk doth make with Parts of righteousness, if for his own name's sake. Though I walk in death's dark veil, yet will I fear. No ill, for thou art with me, and thy rod and staff may come first still. My table thou has furnished in presence of my foes my head thou thus with oil anoint and my cup overflows Goodness and mercy all my life shall surely follow me, and in God's house forevermore my dwell in place shall be goodness and mercy all my life shall
shall surely follow me and in God's house forevermore my dwelling place shall be. Shelter from the stormy blast, the stormy blast, and our eternal home, and all eternal beneath the shadows of God's throne, beneath hello. The shadow of God's throne, doors of God's throne. Thy sins has dwelt. Seek your sufficient is thy names alone. Sufficient. Shant is thy names alone, thy names alone, and all defense is show, Lord, and all defense in the world of flesh and Satan dwell, the world, the flesh. And see, turn, dwell around the paths I tread, Lord, around the paths I, oh, save me from the snares of hell, oh, save me from the snares oh thou quickener of the dead thou quickener Let me ever watch and pray. Still, let me ever watch 
and pray and feel that I am free, and feel that I am free, that if the tempter cross my way, that if the tempter cross my way, to cross my yet he may not prevail yet he may not pray oh still let me ever watch and pray still let me ever watch and pray and feel that I am free and feel that I am free that if the tempter cross my way that if the tempter cross my way yet he may not prevail yet he me not soul at last oh receive my soul at last all my trust I, 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 Ah, uh, yeah. 
scared and dear. And by faith we can see it afar. For the Father waits over the way to prepare us a dwell in bliss there. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. We shall sing on that beautiful shore. The melodious songs of the best, and our spirit shall sorrow no more. Not a sigh for the blessings of rest. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore to a bountiful father above we will offer a tree built of praise for the glorious gift of his love and the blessings that hollow our days in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful oh in the sweet in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by on that beautiful shore the golden morning is fast approaching jesus soon will come to take his faithful and happy children to their promise home oh we see the glimpse of the golden morning piercing through his night of gloom oh we see the of the golden morning that will buzz the tomb the gospel sermons will soon be carried to the nation round. The bridegroom then will cease to tarry at the trumpet sound. Oh, we see the glimpse of the golden morning piercing through his night of gloom. Oh, we see of the golden morning that will doom, attended by all the shining angels down the flaming sky. The judge will come and will take his people where they will not die. Oh, we see the glimpse of the golden morning piercing through his night of gloom. Oh, we see the glimpse of the golden morning that will bust the tomb. There those loved ones who have long been parted will all meet that day. The tears of those who are broken hearted will be wiped away. Oh, we see the glimpse of the golden morning piercing through his night of gloom. Oh, we see the glimpse of the golden morning that will bust the truth. 
when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair when the save on earth shall gather on the, on the other shore and the roll is called up yonder I'll be there when the roll is called up yonder when, when the roll is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder I'll be there on the bright and cloudless morning when the dead in Christ shall rise and the glory of his resurrection share when his chosen ones shall gather to their home beyond the skies and the roll is called up yonder I'll be there when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder. Let us labor for the master from the dawn till setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and the work on earth is done and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. It's called up yonder. You want me to move the one on top of your mark on it? Your mark on top of it, dude? Can we go back here, man? Can we go there? Okay. Can we go there? Can we go there? Can we go there? Can we go Jesus said, if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand upon earth in the latter day. And though after my skin warm destroy my body, Yet, will I, yet in my flesh will I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, shall behold and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. For he brought nothing into this world, and this certain we carry nothing out. Naked come out of our mother's womb, and naked shall return to her. The Lord gave, and the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For the child come into this world, his hands clean, wanting everything, and leave this world with his arms open, wanting nothing. Surely from God of all things come, and just surely to, to him shall all things return. The blessing of, Almighty, of God Almighty and his forgiveness for all of our sins be upon us and remain. 
internal rest, eternal peace, grant unto him, O Lord. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. At this time, we'll have uh, a prayer by Shana Coffee. Prayer by Shana Coffee. Father and our God, this morning we honor your name, we magnify your name, we thank you for who you are. On this homegoing ceremony, on this homegoing celebration of Mr. Anthony Drake's, we ask God that you would guide these funeral deliberations. We pray, O oh God, that your Holy Spirit would imbue its power, strength, and soothing abilities to all who are present, to his wife, to his children, and to the rest of the family and caring community he was a part of. O oh God, in your mercy, in your grace, let him be entered into proper eternal rest, God. We ask, Father, that your grace be transformed in all of us who live, that the greatest qualities he exhibited, we too can exhibit them. Kindness, thoughtfulness, compassion, and care. Lord God, we ask that this would be a wonderful celebration uh, to exude the life of a wonderful man who has come, who has lived, then departed. Oh, gracious God, help us in our living to be as thoughtful as he was. Help us in our daily lives to be as kind as he was. Help us to be thinkers like he was. And God, in your great infinite decision-making, give him and grant him, O oh God, that place in heaven. Jesus, we call upon you as our Savior to save all of us this day. Save all of us from the perils, O oh God, of this world. We thank you for the opportunity to gather. We thank you for the opportunity to pay our last respects. And we thank you for the opportunity to speak to you. These things we pray in your mighty name with thanksgiving. Amen. By Christ's redeem in Christ's wreath, we keep the memory adored. We keep the memory adored and show the death of our dear Lord and show the death of our dear Lord until he comes until he his body broken in our stead his body broke in oh, steady sin in this memorial bread is sin in this memorial bread and so a feeble love is fed and so a feeble love is fed but love is fed until he come until he the drops of his dread agony the of his dread agony. his life blood shed for us we see his life blood shed for us we see the wine shall tell the mystery the wine shall tell the mystery until he come until he Oh, blessed hope with this elate. Oh, blessed hope with this e Let not our hearts be desolate. Let not our heart be desolate. But strong in faith, in patient wait. But strong in faith 
in patience wait until he Father I stretch my hands to thee O God no other help but thee I know if thou withdraw thyself from me then Lord whither shall we go Father, we come exalting you. We come blessing you because you are God all by yourself. All glory belongs to you. All hallelujah belongs to you. Father, we are standing on this spot of ground. Oh God, helping and, and, and supporting our dear mother, sister, friend, queen, Drakes and her family. We pray, oh Lord, that you will cover them under your precious blood. That you will hold them in the palms of your hand. And that you will cover them under the shadows of your wings. Father God, your word says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Oh God, your word also declare that you give it and you take it away. But oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus that they will find comfort in your word knowing that oh God, one day they will come to see him again. Oh God, that father, that brother, oh God, in the name of Jesus, I pray Lord that you are going to hold them together with like, like a bundle of sticks that cannot be broken, oh God. Bind them in love. Oh God, speak to them in a voice that they, that they will be able to understand. I pray, oh God, that you will comfort their hearts, that you will send the comforter friend that you promised and gave us on the, on Pentecostal on Sunday, oh God, that we too may enjoy the comforting and counseling of a sweet-smelling Savior like you, Jesus Christ. So Father God, I pray that eternal rest be granted unto him and that your patriarchal patri perpetual light will shine upon him O God and that you will grant him a place of peace and a place of perfect rest and that you will grant comfort to the family in Jesus almighty name Amen Now, if Christ did preach that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen, then our preaching in vain, and your faith is also vain. We shall now have the reading, the 39th Psalm, by, by Dion Drix. 39th Psalm by Dion Drix. Psalm 3 9. I read you follow. I said, I will take heed to my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me. I was dumb with silent, I held my peace, even from good, and my sorrow was strafed. My heart was not within me, while I, uh, while I was musting the fire burnt, them speak I with my tongue. Lord, Make me to know mine end and the measure of my days. What, is, what it is that I may know how frail I am. Behold, thou hast made my days as an hand burden, and my age is as nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity, Selah. Surely every man walketh in a vain show. Surely they are disquiet in vain. He heaped up riches and knoweth not who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what wait I for? My hope is in thee. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me not to reproach of the foolish. I was dumb. I opened not my mouth because thou didst it. Remove thy stroke away from me. I am consumed by the blow of thine hand. When thou with rebukes thou correct man from iniquity, thou maketh his beauty to consume away like a moth. Surely every man is vanity, Sila. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give air unto my cry. Hold not thy peace at my tears, 
for I am a stranger with thee, and a sojourner, as all my fathers were. O spare me, that I may recover, recover strength, before I go hence, and be no more. Here ended Psalms 39, containing 13 verses, unto the honor and glory of God. Eternal and rest, eternal peace, grant unto him, O Lord. May his soul rest in peace. <coughs> Inasmuch as it has pleased Almighty God, whose compassions fail not, and whose mercies are new every morning, to call from the labor of his vineyard our dear and faithful laborer, Anthony Jakes, whom in the days of his, his strength he did, uh, he did so know, predestinate, predestinate and called to be a priest after the order of Melchizedek, and in the harvest of the spiritual Baptist church, these bid him trust in the sickle of a reward of a penny a day, and reap the fields which were ripe unto his harvest. We get up here to mourn the loss of our brother in the Lord, and also rejoice that he has, he has at last been called by the, by the Lord of the harvest unto a higher calling and show election in paradise, the reward of his sins forever. We get up to give our last rites of the church, and to prepare our our fashion, sorry, and to prepare after our fashion the body after transition and the soul into the rebirth in glory and higher initiation. He that had the son had life. He that had not the son had not life. Come to his assistance, the saints of God. The angels of the Lord come forth to receive the soul and to offer it on high. In the spirit of God the Most High. Eternal rest, eternal peace grant unto him, O Lord. May you still rest in peace. At this time, Reverend Preston again will read for us the foundation lesson. The foundation lesson is taken from the, the Gospel of St. John, chapter 14, from verses 1 to 4. I read, you follow. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, they ye will be also. And whether I go, ye know, and the way, ye know. Here ended the foundation lesson containing four verses unto the honor and glory of God. May you so rest in peace. <coughs> we bless God. This afternoon, or morning, or the saints of God, we gather here to pay our last respect to our departed brother. On behalf of the Spiritual Baptist Churches in Grenada, and of course the International Spiritual Baptist Council, we express our condolences to our bishop, Drix, Yvonne Drix, and family. And to let you know that with God, all things are possible. This morning, the Bible tells us that let not our heart be troubled. Today, our heart must not be troubled. But many of us are indeed troubled. Because by the present situation, by the present world situation, our hearts is troubled. And you know, if we, but however, if we believe in God, because we know what day will come when all of us will go that very same place. When all of us will be lying in that coffin, in that casket, in that box, as our brother told Tony. But when that time comes this evening, men and brethren, the question is, are we prepared to meet our God. One part of the scripture said that we, he, wherever he go, we may be also. And he said, most you know. He said, we may, but we have to work for that kingdom. We have to work to reach that everlasting kingdom. Because you see, on that bright and getting up morning, my friends, we cannot ask no unclean spirit, where is our God? Now is the time we got to make our calling and election show. Let me say this. Tony lying in the coffin now. He cannot make it right again. He would have made it right before. In other words, when we die, we cannot make it right. We have the opportunity now to make it right to God. Tony did it before. His destination for us is unknown. 
But whatever he's destined for, God knows. That's not our business. That's his business and God. And so too, we as Christian people, we cannot think our way Tony going. We doesn't know where Tony going. You doesn't know where I will be going. No man knows where every pastor will be going. But we must make it right with ourselves. We must pray and ask God, Father God, am I doing the things that you want me to do? And so, we have to do some soul searching. I know I always say in time like this, I'm not speaking to the dead. Because the dead is already dead. But I'm speaking to those of us that are alive. The dead can hear what I'm saying. Whatever we do or whatever we say here is not going to change God's plan for him. But I'm saying we can change our plan. We have the opportunity to go before God. Because the Bible said, unless you be born of the water of the Spirit, he can't enter the kingdom of God. So those of us who think the sound of my voice, those are who I'm speaking to. If we yet to make it right with God, let us take the opportunity now. Tomorrow shall be too late. Many who say tomorrow, and many people say next week, but tomorrow may never come. For some people, tomorrow will never come. So we are to do it now. We are to make it right. Men and brethren, let us remember that God, when he's coming, he's not coming for a particular people. He's not coming for a religion. He's not coming for a church. But he's coming for blessed and pure in heart. For they shall see God. I am saying too many times, we allow religion to separate us from the love of God. Too many times, my church is the best. And my church are more people. And my church bigger. But it's not the church. It's the heart of men he wants. He wants our heart. Give me a heart. And I, Lord Jesus, will give you a kingdom. So I'm saying, only so. We can make it right with God if our heart is on him alone. Our hearts must be on Jesus Christ. Today, men and brethren, our what? and go take us to heaven. Whatever you have material things, then go take us to heaven. But we must see God. See God first, and all righteousness shall be added unto you. So today, brethren, as we know, in this day and age, we are walking with time, and we are walking against time, and time is of the essence. So today, I pray God that we all, those within the sound of my voice, will continue to press on to the family, I ask God, I pray God, that he will continue to give you the strength. He will continue to give you the zeal that you may stick together. You may stand together. You may hold one another hand. There is a saying that says, when one head out, all must feel the pain because you must have love. Love for one and love for all. So I pray this, this morning, whatever we do here, or whatever I say here, you may put it in the practice for adventure. One day, you may call one of us and say, the time has come, and I am ready to make, my, make it right with God. So I am ready, and God has called me, and today I am ready to accept Jesus Christ as my, as my Lord and Savior. We praise the Lord. We praise God. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, my happy, my happy, oh, my happy, oh, my happy, oh, my happy, oh, my, my happy, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, my happy home, name ever dear to me, name ever. When shall my labors have an end? Was have an end. The joys when shall I see the joys when shall I 
When shall these eyes I heaven built walls? When shall these eyes I heaven built wall? Thy heaven built walls, thy pearly gates be whole and pearly gates be thy bulwarks with salvation strong. Thy bull walk, salvation strong, salvation strong, and streets of shining gold, and streets shining, apostles, martyrs, prophets there, apostles. Matter prophets, yeah, prophets, yeah, wrong, my savior, stand, wrong, my savior, and all I love in Christ below, and all I love in Christ below will join the glorious band will join glorious Jerusalem me happy home Jerusalem my happy home my happy home when shall I come to thee when shall I come to? When shall my labors have an end? When shall my labors have an end? But have an end the joys. When shall I see the joys? When shall uh, oh Christ, do thou my soul prepare? Oh Christ, do thou my soul prepare from that bright home of love for that bright home oh, that I may see thee and adore that I me see they and adore with all thy sins above with all thy sins above Amen. High Priest Anthony Jakes Rest in eternal peace. High Priest Anthony Jakes, rest in eternal peace. High Priest Anthony Jakes, rest in eternal peace. Eternal rest, eternal peace, grant unto him, O Lord. May his soul rest in peace. At this time, we have some acknowledgments by Bishop Ivan Jakes. Let not thy slippery footsteps slide. Footsteps slide. And hold me lest I fall. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. Be thou my garden and my God. Lord, hear me 
when I called. Let not my slippery footsteps slide, but hold me lest I fall. Giving honor and praise to a God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Giving honor to Odo de Mary, the God, one of the gods of the Most High. And today, I want to say thank you to our apostolic patriarch, Dr. Narish Ashton, our Secretary General, Dr. Agatha Carrington, my spiritual father, Archbishop Brinsley Dixon, all the Secretary Generals, all those that are in attendance, those whose names I did not call, but I want you to know my love and um, my appreciation is with you. Today, I want to give thanks, special thanks to my two boys who has beat all odds to be here today. I want to give thanks and I ask God for continuous love and support for them. To all my family who have supported me throughout the last few years, nursing the great high priest through his trials, his sickness, and continuous prayers, I want to say a special thanks. Tongue is not sufficient to say thank you. But most of all, who stand at my side, my pillar, my sister, Catherine, who has been with me day and night in my tears, in my sorrow, and in my pain. She was there. I wanted to know I could never repay her, but God will bless her. Today, for me, is a bittersweet. The bitterness that he's gone and he's not here anymore. But the sweetness in my heart, I am not watching him suffer anymore. I thank God for that release. I want to give thanks to the two ministers who are presiding and all the friends and family who find it fittest to be here today. I ask God's blessing upon you. I want to give thanks today for the person who did the tomb. I ask God's blessing upon him and I pray God that he will meet, we will meet him in glory for the great work that he is doing. Father, I thank God for all those that online, my spiritual children, my friends, my family, even my enemies who are watching the funeral today. I pray God there's a blessing somewhere in glory for you. And I want to give thanks to my granddaughter. She's been a champion throughout this. I want her to know that her grandfather will always be with her. He's now making his way up to the ancestors. And Gaia, I will teach you how to work with the ancestors so you would always be in communication with your grandfather. I thank you. Thank each and every one here for the company who's streaming 
I give thanks for the caretaker who works so hard. Can I don't know what to say, but she took dad as her father and she took care of him every day. And I believe when she got home on the weekend, he was looking forward for her to be back on Monday. And as she would walk in and she would say, Mr. Drex, how are you today? And he would give her a smart smirch or something funny like he always does. Like, let go my hands. I want to give thanks. That was the last word that he spoke to us. That was the last word when she was attending to him with my sister and there was restraining him, the last word he uttered, let go my hands. And today, we are letting you go in the arms of our Lord and Savior. He gave you life, and now he has called you home to be at the side, letting you know that your work is not finished. As you are properly attired, your work will continue in the spirit of a high priest of who you are. I want to give thanks again. It's a sadness today because I believe that you were the only high priest in Canada. You were the only one who went into the throne of grace and God sent you back as a high priest. And you worked the walk, you walked the walk, and you talk the work. And I know he's happy with what you have done. And we all are happy because you have taught us how to live a life for God. God bless everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bishop Dix. You spoke of the caretaker. But people don't know the caretaker, only caretaker which he had. Right, on the side over there, so. And you, and you spoke about your sister. Many people know your sister. Sister, raise your hand, let me see you. Right. Caretaker and sister. Amen? At this time, we are about to. The body is already here. So, we are about to commit the body to his final. Resting place. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Let us pray our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. And it is not. When I surveyed the wondrous cross, on which the Prince of Glory died, my riches gain I come but lost, and poor contempt on all my pride. Forbid it, Lord, that I should boast. Sorrow and love flow mingle in the leaders' love and sorrow met. Our tongues compose so rich a crown. Where the whole realm of nature mine, that to an offering far too small. Love so amazing, so divine, demands my soul, my life, my all. To Christ, the one for sinners' grace, by a bitter grief and anguish, so be peace of all the ransom blessed. 
forever and forevermore. Through Christ the one for sinners, yes, by a bitter grief and anguish, so he pays them all the ransom, yes, forever and forevermore. At this time, we are about to lay our body, our brother, to his final resting place. Abide with me, fast for the evening tide. The darkness deepens. Lord, with me abide when the heavens fill and comfort me. Help of the helpless, oh, abide with me. Shift to its close. As our life flickers as joy grows dream, its glories pass away. Change and decay in all around I see. O oh, thou who changes not, abide with me. I need thy presence every passing hour. What but thy grace can for the tempter's power? Who like myself, my faith and strength can be. Though clouds and sunshine, Lord, abide with me. I fear no foe with his at hand to bless. Eels have no weight and fears no bitterness. Where is that sting? Where grave thy victory? I'll triumph still if thou abide with me. Hold thou thy cross before my closing eyes. Shine through the gloom and point me to the skies. Heaven's morning breaks and earth's vain shadows flee. In life, in death, O oh Lord, abide with me. In the name and by the power and through the word of Jesus Christ, I, Bishop Ian Edwards, do commit the body of Anthony Drake's to the elements, earth to earth, air to air, water to water, fire to fire, light to light. The power of God commands you. The word of Christ commands you. The angel messengers command you. My voice and authority compel you. The blood of Christ commands you to rest in peace, sleep in peace, be at peace. Answer the one. You must not return until the second, second blast of the trumpet of Christ by his angels. Go forth on thy journey into everlasting life, into a life everlasting spirit. In the name of Jehovah Elohim who created thee. In the name of the Holy Ghost to comfort and sanctify thee. Into the company of angels and archangels of the heavenly host who will guard thee. The Lord had given you, had given by his mysterious power. He had taken her to himself. 
Farewell, farewell, farewell. Pass me not, O gentle Saviour, hear my humble cry. While on others I wet call in, do not pass me by. Saviour, Saviour, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Long, O oh Lord, I splint, I bleed in, and I love to me. Heard thy voice, but live it reading. Now I turn to thee. Saviour, Saviour, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Let me at the throne of mercy find a sweet relief. Kneeling there in deep country, ablation, help my unbelief. Saviour, Saviour, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Trusting only in thy merit, would I see thy face? Heal my wounded, broken spirit, save me by thy grace. Saviour, Saviour, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Though the spring of all my comfort, more than life to me, whom have I honored beside thee? Who in heaven but deem? Saviour, Saviour, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Keep me, Saviour, ever faithful till I reach thy home and I hear thy voice so welcome, saying, Blessed at home. Saviour, Saviour, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. One by one, two by two, three by three, Jesus called them by the number. One by one, two by two, three by three, Jesus called them by the number. I am a soul, old yeah, in the eye. I am a soldier in the army of the. I am a soldier in the army. I am a soldier in the army of the Lord. One by one, two by two, three by three. Jesus called them by the number. One by one by one, two by two. Three by three, Jesus called them by the I am a soldier in the 
I am a soldier in the army of the I am a soldier in the I am a soldier in the army of the Lord. Goodbye, world. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasures of sin. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. Goodbye, world. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasures of sin. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. To go God's way the rest of my life. Goodbye world. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye pleasures of sin. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. Oh goodbye world. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye pleasures of sin. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. I made up my mind to go God's way. Oh Jesus, look where you brought me from. Look where you brought me from. I was hung in the world doing my own thing. Look where you brought me from. Look, look, look where you brought me from. My Jesus, look, oh, look where you brought me from. I was down, I was down in the world, doing my own thing. Look where you brought me from. No grave can hold my body down. No grave can hold my body down. When the dead shall song and the dead in Christ shall rise. No grave, no grave. No grave can hold my body down. No grave can hold my body down. When the trumpet shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise. No grave, no grave, no grave can hold my body down. No grave can hold my body down when the trumpet shall sound and the dead. No grave, no grave. I wonder where Anthony to today, he gone along the way. He gone, he gone, and he cannot return, he gone along the way. I wonder where my bishop today, he gone along the way. Oh, he gone, he gone, and he cannot return. Oh, I wonder where my father today. Oh, he gone, he gone, and he cannot return. Oh, he gone, he gone, and he cannot return. He gone along. Oh, he gone, he gone, and he cannot return. Oh, I wonder where my brother today. Oh, he gone, he gone, and he cannot return. Oh, I wonder where my brother today. Oh, he gone, he gone, and he cannot return. I wonder where my father today. He gone, he gone, and he cannot return. Oh, I wonder where she husband today. Oh, he gone, he gone, and he cannot return. Oh, I wonder where she husband today. Oh, Lord, he gone, he gone, and he cannot return. Oh, I wonder where your granddad today gone. Oh, he gone to put on the little white robe. He gone along. Oh, I wonder where your granddad today gone along. Oh, he gone to put on the little white robe. He gone along. Oh, I wonder where he, today he gone along the way. He gone, he gone, and he cannot return. 
Oh, I wonder where the high priest today. Oh, he gone, he gone, and he cannot return. Oh, I wonder where the reverend today. Oh, he gone to have a walk with you, Jesus gone along. Oh, I wonder where the reverend today. Oh, he gone, he gone, and he cannot return. Oh, I wonder where the high priest today. Oh, he gone to walk and talk with the God. Oh, I wonder where she husband today. Oh, he gone, he gone, he cannot return. Oh, he gone to put on the lily white robe. Oh, he gone to have a talk with the God. Oh, I wonder where my brother today. Oh, he gone, he gone, and he cannot return. Oh, he gone to have a walk with the God. Oh, he gone to put on the lily white robe. Oh, I wonder where he jump today. Oh, he gone, he gone, and he cannot return. Oh, I wonder where Tony today. Oh, he gone, he gone, and he cannot return. Rock on my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Rock on my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Rock on my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Oh, rock on my soul so high, so low, so wild. Oh, rock of my soul, rock of my soul in the bosom of Abraham, rock of my soul in the bosom of Abraham, rock of my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Oh, rock of my soul, so high, so low, so wide. Oh, rock of my soul, oh, rock of my soul in the bosom of Ab- rock of my soul in the bosom of Abraham, rock of my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Oh, rock of my soul. So high, so low, so wide. So rock on my soul, rock on my soul in the bosom of ba ba ba. Rock on my soul in the ba 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 ba. Rock on my soul in the ba 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 ba. Oh, rock on my soul. Oh oh oh, so high you can get up. So low, so wide. Oh, rock on my soul, rock on my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Rock on my soul. Oh, rock on my soul. Oh, rock on my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Rock on my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Rock on my soul. Rock on my soul. So high, so low, so wide. Oh, rock on my baby, baby, baby. Rock on my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Rock on my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Rock on my soul. Oh, rock of my soul, so high, I think so low, I say so one. Oh, rock of my soul, oh, 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 rock of my baby, pick up a bum bubble, pick up a baby, 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 Oh, rock of my belly, baby, baby, rock of my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Oh, rock of my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Rock of my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Oh, rock of my soul. Oh, 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 so high, so low, so wide. Oh, rock of my soul. Oh, 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 rock of my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Rock of my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Rock of my soul. Oh, rock of my soul, oh, 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 so high, so low, so wide. Oh, rock of my baby, 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 rock of my soul in the bosom of a baby, rock of my soul in the bim, baby, rock of my soul, bim, bim, oh, rock of my soul, oh, 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 so high, so low, so wide. Oh, rock 
come out. Bitter baby, be a boob, 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 be a
Yeah. 